I'm David Beckman, President of Bread for the World. I want to tell you a little bit more about our 2010 offering of letters and urge you to take action. This year we're working to protect and strengthen tax credits for low-income workers and their families. Why taxes? Because key tax provisions for poor people are expiring this year. Tax credits lift more people out of poverty than any other program. In 2009, 6.6 .6 million people, including 3.3 million children, were lifted above the poverty line. The EITC is supported by both Democrats and Republicans. Ronald Reagan called it the best anti-poverty program, the best pro-family program, the best job creation measure to come out of Congress. To end hunger, we can't rely on nutrition programs alone. We need to look at the underlying issue of poverty and strengthen measures to reduce poverty. One of the best ways to do that is through the tax code. That's why Bread for the World is working to protect and strengthen the EITC and another important credit for low-income working families, the child tax credit. How do tax credits work? When you do your taxes, you start with your income. Then you subtract any exemptions or deductions. This gives you your taxable income. You multiply that by your tax rate to get your tax liability. For low-income workers, tax credits are then deducted to get the amount of tax owed or the refund that they're due. Now, what's a refundable tax credit? How does that work? Let's say a family has a tax liability of $2,000. If they qualify for a refundable tax credit of $2,500, they'll get a check from the IRS for $500. If the tax credit isn't refundable, they won't have to pay taxes, but they won't get the $500. The typical household income is about $50,000. The poverty line for one parent with two children is about $17,000. A single mother who works full time at the minimum wage makes only $14,500 per year. So if she has two children, those children are living in poverty. They sometimes go hungry. Tax credits help a lot of people who are working but still poor. Our Offering of Letters video explains the importance of these credits in the budget of a low-income working family. We have food on our table and I'm thankful for that, but at the end of the day, you still have bills that you have to pay, you still have things that require cash that you have to pay. Like, I can't take a WIC check and mail it to Sprint. You can't put gas in your car with food stamps. My landlord doesn't want milk or cheese. He wants a check. Refundable tax credits allow a family to buy books for their children or fix up their car so they can get to work. Tax credits are an important way to reduce poverty and hunger in our country. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about tax credits. It's really urgent that you write to your members of Congress and ask them to protect and strengthen tax credits for low-income working people. Please visit bread.org/ol and take action today.